Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today we're going to be looking at just some of the brand new things that we can see in Super Mario Maker 2 for the Nintendo Switch. This is everything that we found, and it's come from a variety of different sources, including a big chunk of our own personal research, but the lion's share of this really does come from one user from NintendoLife.com called Antrax777, so massive thanks to you. I don't know if these are going to be in any particular order. I, I, I'm a little bit pushed for time, so I'm just going to be blitzing through these and then hoping the edit will make sense. So here's hoping it does. Also, I'm pretty sure this isn't everything new we're going to see. This is just what they've shown, and frankly, there's like 50 things in the list, so even if they don't add anything else new, this is, this is mental. But anyway, that's more than enough waffling. Let's dive right into things. First of all, we've got Slopes, baby, of two varieties. So that's Slopes 1 and Slopes Slopes 2. You got these little things here that create gusts of wind, which goes all the way back to Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, or Super Mario Bros. 2 if you happen to be uh, Japanese, in which case, why are you watching this? I mean, fair play to you. We've got that classic angry sun from Super Mario Bros. 3, which, for some reason, is 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 only in one level. Was it only in one level? I lose track. But it's back! So my nightmares are now real. Desert level theme! You couldn't have an angry sun without a desert level theme, although considering it's Super Mario Maker, that'll probably be proved wrong. Snow level theme! Why not? Because ice levels are everyone's favourite. Snake blocks! These first appeared in Super Mario World, and as you might expect from the name, and probably from what you're seeing of the footage, they sort of go all snaky-like. And most importantly, you can set the paths for these as you see fit. You can just create whatever path you like. Which Within reason, I'm sure there's probably some limitation, but even so, hey, great. You can now put water in non-water levels if you're that kind of sadist. Porcupuffers, they're those sort of giant spiky fish things that chased Mario because they, yeah. You can also have rising water in stages as you got in like Super Mario World and I think Super Mario Bros 3, didn't you, didn't you get that as well? Yeah, because that was with a big Bertha thing. We're trying to eat you all the time and it's genuinely scared me as a child. Pipes can now be different colors as are. You now get those on-off switch blocks, which again come from Super Mario World originally, I believe. They weren't used that often in back in the day, but they could be used more now, maybe, I suppose. You also get some blocks that appear and disappear with the on-off stuff, because you'd need something to turn on and off now, wouldn't you? Purple colored crystal blocks. You can now change the auto-scroll direction, so it can be vertical, horizontal, or even go at a funny in-between angle between the two. It's up to you and trooper enemies they originally appeared in super mario 3d world and they're here now i think they replace buzzy beetles or something sting bee bees again also from super mario 3d world they're bees all right skip squeak another super mario 3d world enemy and they are mice you've also got green hop chop enemies which are those sort of bouncy blocks uh, things i i i had no idea they had a name but i suppose they'd have to wouldn't they there's also bully enemies which is really interesting they, they were in uh, Mario 64, I think they, maybe they were in some other games as well, but I've never seen them in a 2D uh, environment, although maybe they have been in before, I don't know. Piranha plants that stay still and don't necessarily come out of pipes. What a, well, I mean, they kind of had those before, but they're, they're the ones that sort of jump out at you. They, they, sort of, they sort of jump as much as a plant can outside of Smash Bros. Cat Suit Bell. Yes, the Cat Bell power-up, which allows Mario and potentially company to climb the side of things and make all sorts of cat noises. Trees that you can slap items in, again from Super Mario 3D World. Those climbable fence things that you can unsurprisingly climb on that were originally found in Super Mario World. You can also give yourself some Piranha Creeper Vines, which are those weird sort of... Well, you can probably see it on the screen. Why am I describing it? And more importantly, you can denote the path that it takes, which is really important in my book. Big coins. Yes, coins with a 10 icon on them, which presumably give the player 10 coins when you touch it. It's actually weirdly similar to uh, Yoshi's Crafted Island, if you played the demo for that. They've got them as well. A coin counter. 
Players will now know how many coins they have collected in a level. Is that really new? Did, 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 did we seriously not have that before? The next one's listed as those blocks that create other blocks, and thankfully the video should explain it better than I can. Those glass pipes from Super Mario 3D World. You know, the ones where you go in and you can actually control the direction you go in to a degree. Them! You can also choose a jungle theme. This really isn't in any order at all, is it? Parachutes as well. Why not stop things from falling quite so quickly by sticking a bit of cloth and string on them. Giant bullet bills, or if you're cultured like I am, you'll know that they're called banzai bills. Although there's probably some sort of weird distinction between the two, and somebody's gonna have a go at me for not knowing the Mario lore in the comments. Similarly large bullet bills or banzai bills which shoot out from the background. Proper 3D world style. Longer floating platforms, oh it's exciting. There's also a forest theme which is gonna be foresty. Also a Red Yoshi. Now this may just be a simple palette swap and may not have any particularly interesting abilities, or it could be a Yoshi that maybe spits fire? I can't remember what the Red Yoshis did in Super Mario World. Only if it weren't for the purple ones. Boom boom, yes that mid-level sort of fortress boss is back again. There's a charming new radial interface which is designed much more for controllers we'd wager, rather than the grid system we had before which was much more designed for touch. We'd be amazed if you still couldn't use touch but even so, Look at these circly boys. Rock blocks. Now these are durable large bricks that require extra hits and or shells to break. And then if we have a look at this promotional image, you can also see that there are some cat bullet bills. Well, at least one in there. There's also Toadette, Toad, Luigi, not just the one there, but the one in the front there. A thwomp that appears to be moving sideways rather than vertically. And a Koopa in a car. Why not? And that's about it. There's no doubt stuff that we've missed, but you know, that seems to be the general bulk of it. Again, if we have missed something, let us know what it is and how silly we are down there in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you construct a subscribe button out of many, many different parts? And be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.
the announcement of Super Mario Maker 2 was legit the coolest thing ever. Guys, I legit cannot tell you how excited I am for this. I have wanted Mario Maker to come to the Switch for so long now. And to be honest, I didn't even care if it was just a Wii U port. But no, it's not even just a deluxe version. It's a whole new game with a whole bunch of new mechanics, tools, enemies. It's crazy. So basically, in this video, I'm going to be going over all the new things that we have shown in the Super Mario Maker 2 trailer. So let's get to it. So straight up, the first main thing we are shown is the fact that slopes are finally a thing. And as you can see, the way you pick your item on uh, Mario Maker 2 is a lot different to the one on the Wii U, where a whole grid will come down and you could just pick an item. But as you can see, there are actually two types of slopes. You've got the steep slope, and then I assume just a regular slope below that. Um, actually, if you go back to items, you can actually see that there is a coin, uh, which is actually worth 10 coins. That's something brand new. Back to the terrain area, on the left you can see these on and off switches and this red block which is activated through them, you'll see them later on. And you've also got the moving blocks below that, and yes, that's also shown later on, so we'll go through them later. Then we get our first look at the menu, and most of that stuff has gone through in the trailer, so that'll be later. But we're also shown how the slopes are used, and it's pretty straightforward. Then we move on to see our first new, I was gonna say enemy, but it's more so just an entity maybe I don't know but basically it's just like a stream of air pushing you up which that could be used for some really cool things then we move on to Mario Bros 3 with a brand new style looking very tropical and we've got the famous Mario son oh that is so cool I'm happy they brought him in then we get a shot of new Super Mario Bros U with a brand new snow theme which I am so happy he's in and we also get the first look at the moving tiles oh my god goodness this can make some crazy levels and it's also really easy to control like what direction that they will go in uh, which I am happy about that then a scene comes up um, and it looks like you can adjust the water levels uh, maybe on certain parts of the stages I don't know if it's half the stage or you can adjust it like higher or lower I assume you could but that could definitely be used for some cool things like beaches I guess I don't know then we get our first look at the on and off switches and the blocks when it says on, the red blocks are activated, and once you hit it, it'll change to off, and then the blue blocks will be activated. This already leads to some amazing possibilities. Then we get a look at one of the new tools, which allows you to control how a level will auto-scroll, which I think is really cool. Not only that, but look in the top left corner. This is something that is going to be crazy. Basically, what I think that means is once you collect 50 coins, you win the level. I don't even think you need a flagpole. Now, I can't be too sure about this because... On the menu, it has a flag, but it looks more like a checkpoint than an actual flagpole. So I'm not exactly sure, but we had just suggested that collecting 50 coins will do something. Then we move on to what totally shocked me. They turned Super Mario 3D World 2D, and damn, it looks good. In this terrain section, we can see on the left that there is the clear pipes, which are shown later, as well as this uh, spiky brick, which I don't think is shown throughout the trailer. We've got these grey blocks, and then on the right we see the bell power up, but again that's shown later. Then we get a look at the enemies. We've got the puffer fish, we've got the ant troopers that climb up walls. On the left we have bullies, the stretchy piranha plants, they are shown later on though. The spring enemies, the bees, and those running mole things. And then as this piranha plant is placed, there's actually a menu to like customize the piranha plant. The first one's normal, the second one's the one that shoots fire, so they'll have different variations of enemies there. The mushroom thing is basically taking the mushroom out of the piranha plant, making him small. Then the next one's giving him wings. Then the next one puts a parachute on the enemies, which is also seen at the very last scene. We've also got a bell tree, which seems to actually be placed through the bell as it is highlighted. And then you see the bell get put into the tree, and we witness Cat Mario in 2D for the very first time. Then comes the desert variation of uh, 3D World, then the underground levels, where we see the moving prana plants and how they work, kind of like the moving blocks. Then we see one of these blocks which uh, shoots out other blocks the more you hit it, which that could definitely be used for a lot of cool things. Then we got the see-through pipes, which can shoot out projectiles and even enemies can go through it. Then we move on to the boss level stages in 3D World, where it's all like circus casino themed. And we get a look at some new floors, some of the climbable walls, and some massive bonsai builds that shoot right towards the screen by the looks of it. And I'm not quite sure what this thing is. Then we get a look at these tilting platforms which uh, you kind of have to get balance on. That could definitely lead to some crazy hard levels. Then comes a scene where the background's all like star themed. I think that's really cool. As well as what seems to be poison on the floor which I assume you can also rise like the water from before. 
here we move on to a 3D world jungle theme which I think looks really cool where we see a whole bunch of enemies using the parachutes as well as the boss boom boom and another bonsai build and oh my goodness there we go I cannot wait for this to come out I'm gonna be playing this so much making some crazy fun levels it is going to be insane so yeah guys please let me know your thoughts on Nintendo deciding to make a second Mario Maker game for the Nintendo Switch because honestly that was probably the best part of the direct for me actually yeah 100% that was I'm so happy about it hope you guys are as well and I hope you all enjoyed this video and look forward to seeing more news on this game in the future because I definitely can't wait but yeah thanks everyone so much for watching and I hope to see you all in my next videos Bye.